am I ever happy to be able to talk about postscriptum news again? This was, and I guess will continue to be, a gem of a World War II FPS milsim, which always seemed like a semi-branch of squad, but was actually developed by Periscope Games until things went quiet around the start of 2023. And just before we start, in my normal full disclosure way, I want to say that many years ago I was given a code so I could access postscriptum to make videos on my channel. I'm LCTR, and I'm excited to say that I awoke to a Discord post from OWI Luna saying that Postscriptum had been officially acquired by Offworld Industries, the squad devs, and they will be collaborating with Mercury Arts to bring new content and updates to the game, which all sounds very promising, and well, to be honest, hearing anything new about Postscriptum at this point would sound promising in comparison. Postscriptum's Twitter also tweeted more news. They're working on a new map, new features, a new faction, and a 2024 roadmap. So this really does begin to sound way more than some soft reboot to try and drum up sales for the game. A new development team with new content should be a shot in the arm that the game needs, but with player numbers understandably low, we might need some sort of community support to really resurrect the game to the heights of its heyday. So let me know in the comments how much you're looking forward to this new content being added to Postscriptum. And to be honest, I was very surprised by these announcements. Also, if you like the sort of Milsim content, don't forget to hit the thumb up button and tap the old sub button for more in the future. It seems that Mercury Arts are devs who were already in the sort of post-scriptum ecosystem before things took a downturn. They were making a mod for the game called Chapter Mercury, which focused on an ambition to create an accurate World War II Battle of Creep mod. If you check Postscriptum's own Steam page, you can see under events that there were public playtests for that content. There's talk of a Rathimno map with a teaser video and screenshots of new weapons, but this was all posted in October of 2022. I saw a great video by Moidog, a popular Milsim YouTuber, and I'll link to the specific video on his channel in the description below. And he had details and had been in contact with the OWI CEO and Mercury Arts new dev team. From this video, it seems that the last year has been filmed with a prolonged legal process with OWI, that's the squad devs, taking ownership of Postscriptum. However, the Mercury Arts team themselves have actually been active for around six months already working on the game. The video also confirms that the Greeks will be a new faction added to the game with player models, animations, rifles, pistols, and mortars. And again, we see the Rhythm No Map mentioned. But this time, it won't be a mod, it'll be actually core content for Postscriptum. The video goes into a lot more detail about the original development for the game, what happened when development was paused, and even more details about how the OWI CEO talked about wanting to pay back and say thanks to the people, you know, the server owners and players, who have kept the game alive in the meantime. I heartily recommend checking out Moidog's video. All this awesome news does make me take a reality check too. Just how is Postscriptum looking at the end of 2023? Well, since this news dropped, it's peaked a little in player numbers to almost 600 concurrent players. But really, the weekdays before this were more in the 200-ish player range. So things are pretty low. But to be honest, it's more than I would have guessed considering there's been not much to talk about for almost a year now. And that, that's a long time in gaming. The additions being talked about seem good, very much in line with the current content of the game, and so you would imagine from a group who were a modding team for the game already. Though that being said, would the player base, even at its height four years ago, be asking for the game to add the Greek faction and maps from Crete that feature the Battle of Rathim now? I'm sure some would, but I think charitably we might imagine that other battles from World War II might feature more in community sentiments. But with that extended hiatus from news about the game that clearly people love, I'm sure the vast, vast majority will be happy to see new content added to the game regardless. With all this being said, I'm left looking at the game with the current £24.50 price tag, and although it's actually 50% off that price with the Steam sale at the moment, and I'm wondering how OWI plan to support the game going forward. I'm sure there will be a resurgence of current owners to the game, but convincing new players to put down their money on this title will be another battle. I hope there are plans for other monetization, so this game can not only get more content, but also have those core gameplay, performance, graphics, all improved and brought up to date. I'm slightly nervous about this as the recent squad emotes haven't exactly been universally welcomed by the player base, so I do hope that OWI takes a leaf out of the Hell Let Loose developers book and have a look at how cosmetic DLCs work for them. I'll not go into a huge side tangent like I normally do, but I think there's room for weapon and character customizations to work in Milsims without the whole thing going a bit Call of Duty where we end up with golden AKs, that sort of thing. I'm saying all this because I really do want Proscriptum to have a resurgence. If you're a previous player, then let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear about how much people are looking forward to getting this game back and why you think it deserves another chance at life. 
I remember my time playing the game fondly, and although it might on paper just seem like hell let loose, the actual feel of playing was much closer to squad. It has great and really quite varied maps, really beyond what we see in other World War II titles, and although the visuals are behind the likes of Hell Let Loose, and to be fair, they always kind of were, like Squad, the audio design is superb and brings a rich intensity that other games struggle to deliver. I'm hoping this is the starting point for another chapter in Postscriptum's life. So let me know all your powerful thoughts and feelings about this news by leaving a comment below right now. Like always, I'll be reading every single one of them, so I'll see you down there. If you did enjoy this video, please do tap the thumb up button. It helps me grow the channel and continue to make videos that you enjoy, just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and for all your continued support. I'll see you next time. Take care.